Hello everyone, this is my second video about uh, the arrangements of this uh, old cells, um, simulations and cali calibrations. As you can see in these arrangements, this is a uh, low cell simulator uh, made by Calc. It will behave like a low cell. Yeah. And this is a junction box and this one is a uh, Lot cell indicator or lot cell display they call it sometimes yeah as you can see here yeah now it's a zero fold yeah you can see a zero fold here um generated by this uh calop yeah zero volts and as you can see at zero fold uh the display indicates zero in this example is zero KG. So, this um, um, road cell uh, calibrators, yeah, if I increase the millifold output, it should be the, the weight that read by indicator will be uh, increased, yeah. Uh, let's say now I, so, as you can see, so many uh, buttons here, it's, uh, this, um, Based on the the numbers that you want to increase, this let's say I generate zero point zero one zero volts. As you can see here, and the display is showing that it it is one hundred ten kg. Okay, so if I turn again. 0 0.020 is a two times of the previous weight and if I make a 0 0.030 the weight is at 350 kg so but you can see unstable sometimes because maybe the noise and etc and you can reduce and you can reduce again and you can reduce become zero so we have to start from the beginning how to do this but bear in your mind yeah you have to read the user manuals of these uh, Kellogg's the calibrators yeah you have to carefully read the user manuals and the user manual of this road cell indicator or road cell display yeah made by CAS yeah and inside the user manuals there are lots of uh, usable information uh, to avoid uh, and misarrangement uh, of this system okay now um i would like to show you how we we start from the beginning yeah first uh, we have to turn turn off this uh, load cells indicators just turn it off okay based on the user manuals yeah Based on the user manuals, you have when you do a calibration, yeah, and and you have to push number three here, then you turn it on, yeah, turn it on, and you got this P1 and etc. Okay, just press set, and you have a uh, one until to seven things that you have to set up to do the calibration okay ah C means the capacity of the load cell that you want to calibrate let's say the load cell you want to calibrate maybe with capacity 20,000 kg but in this example let I would like to change maybe only um, uh, 500 kg Okay, and the minimum reading, I put one, but be careful. Uh, minimum reading you have to read the user manual because this load set indicator only afford to read up to uh, micron four. Yeah, there is a calculation inside the user manual that you need to consider. Yeah, the calculations uh, about this uh, minimum reading. That can be afforded by 
this uh, so, uh, indicators. Let's say I put one kg the minimum readings. Okay, and they said unload means no load at all. So no load at all means that the load cell must generate zero millivolt. Okay. Of course, zero millivolt. Of course, there is a division maybe zero point zero zero ones and etc. But in Bayesian national standard, there is a maximum plus minus zero one percent etc. You cannot do a calibration with um, zero load, but the 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 uh, the voltage they generated is one millivolt. It's um it's not good for for the load cell. Yeah. Okay, you see zero volt here, zero millivolt. I means so I just put yes, I unload the everything and I put okay. The load indicator calculate itself. Yeah, good. Now the span calibrations means uh, how much the wake that you you want to use to calibrate. In regulation, at least ten percent of uh, maximum wake. We have a maximum wake capacity five hundred kg. Maybe you need uh, one hundred kg. It's a twenty percent. Let's say I put one hundred kg. Now the challenge is here. Okay, this load cell indicators generate uh, excitation voltage to here 10 volt okay so imagine that this uh, load cell but actually now it's using calcs imagine the load cell specification is uh, 2 millivolt per volt it means single load cell it means uh, 20 millivolt yeah generated at 100 kg maybe you can make a simple calculation here yeah? um, let's say this a uh, lot cell that 2 millivolt per volt yeah and this can generate a uh, excitation, excitation voltage 10 volt yeah you just multiply 10 volt yeah and then you have a uh, 20 milli uh, volt that equal to 500 kg okay previously you want to make a span calibration 100 kg so you just make a linear yeah it's a 20 millivolt yeah 20 millivolt here it's a millivolt in, and your kg is a it's a 500 how about if um, 100 kg how many fault will it be yeah so let's say this uh, ideally linear yeah how much yeah you just can easily calculate that um, here yeah 20 millivolt 500 kg if you divide it means 2 millivolt similar with um, 50 kg okay okay so um, 50 kg so 100 kg is be 4 millivolt okay then you have to generate here 4 millivolt yeah 1 millivolt 2 millivolt 3 millivolt 4 millivolt okay 4 millivolt and then when you say up okay just press up and the system will read the source of 4 millivolt to the young uh, to the junction box or to the summing box and then to this and they said pass just put it set again calibration and buy okay see 100 kg at 4 millivolt so if I reduce this uh, voltage here yeah? 
millivolt 3.9 looks like the display cannot read it <laughs> but it's okay uh, maybe because quite small but if I put this hmm, 3.8 will be 97 95 2 etc how about 2 2 millivolts 2 millivolts will be read Fifty kg. Ah, yes. See, two millivolt will be fifty kg. How about four millivolt? Um, twenty millivolt, yeah. Twenty millivolt. Ah, five hundred kg. Yeah, but if more than that, yeah, if more than that, let's say thirty, there is error. You can see in the user manual what the meaning of this error, but you can guess right now that the error meanings maybe is um, overload. Okay, so 20 millivolt is similar with 500 kg. So it's very simple, yeah, really simple and really helpful this uh, equipment, and you can calibrate um, your equipment using this. Uh, again, in the, um, Google, you can find that calibration using electronic device like this is acceptable by a national standard. You can search what uh, the national standards say about these calibrations. Um, I have uh, a person that uh, make a technical writing about this. Yeah, in the Google, you can find it. Yeah, it's very useful. Okay, now um, I think that's all the video. As you can see, it's very simple. I hope this is really helpful for your project. Thank you very much. Bye bye.